Hi, I'm Chris Bradshaw from Hexagon. In this short video, we'll take a look at how to set up and get started creating a pressure vessel model for analysis using PV Elite. All right, so when we first start PV Elite, this dialog box will be shown where we can choose the nozzle database to use for the current vessel. I'm going to stick with ANSI Imperial nozzles with the nozzle diameter therefore being in inches. Okay, so I'm going to now start by hitting the on the elements pane the bottom head, which will be an elliptical head, which will appear in the graphics like so. Um, notice all of the fields are in US units, so let's change that by picking from the drop down list at the top. And I'm going to choose, let's say, Newtons, for example. The dialog box will appear confirming what the new units will be, so I'm happy with that, so I'll hit OK. And then I'm going to go into the input pane and I'm going to make a change to, let's say, the inside diameter. And I'll change this to 2.5 meters. If I wish to create a horizontal vessel, I can use this button here to flip the orientation. And then hit it again to return back to vertical. And notice in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, there is some red text showing that the thickness required due to internal pressure thickness we tried due to external pressure and the max allowable working pressure are all insufficient that's why they're shown in red so 9.42 9.6 my current finished thickness is only 6.35 for the current conditions which are shown also here so I'm going to adjust this now so let's make this to 10 millimeters the red text now returns to its original color so we know everything is good from a pressure standpoint and I'll just quickly add a cylindrical shell. Let's make this three meters in length. And looking at the bottom corner, we need to increase the thickness. So let's make that 13. Attach a top head. And then if we wish to attach any details, such as a nozzle, for example, I'm just going to put an inlet nozzle by selecting the top head and then picking on the nozzle button in the details panel to add a nozzle and in the nozzle dialog box I can choose the nozzle size maybe this will be an 8 inch nozzle once again PV is doing calculations so I see some red text uh, this case UG45 has failed so I could try increasing the thickness of the nozzle by changing the schedule it still fails though so perhaps I will add a reinforcing pad by changing the nozzle type. The pad geometry is over here at the top right hand corner of the dialog box. The text is now blue, so that has passed. So I hit OK. I could also reposition and so forth with the nozzle, but for this quick start video, I'm just going to go ahead and hit the analyze button to run the analysis. That requires me to save the... So I'm just going to go to a suitable folder and give the file a name. The analysis will then run. And once completed, we will be presented with the output. Like so, which is where we can review the various different calculations such as internal pressure. And here we see for the elliptical head, the required thickness due to internal pressure according to ASME. Here's the equation, here's the values used, and here's the final result. So I hope you enjoyed that video and found it useful, but remember, if you do have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at Hexagon. Thanks for watching.